The recent strong third quarter and all-time high stock price at Alliance Data Systems saw the chief financial officer cashing in the few of his chips and reducing his direct holdings by 13.2%. On October 22, CFO Charles Hellhorn sold 5,000 shares of Alliance Data Ticker ads for $719,950, an average of $143.99 apiece lowering his direct stake to 32,998 shares. That stake is less than 1% of the company. This is Horn's second transaction this year. His most recent previous transaction was on May 11th when he sold 2,000 shares FO thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Are $255,400, an average of $127.71 each. Horn joined the Plano, Texas-based provider of credit services and customer relations solutions in 2009. Horn is the former chief financial officer and senior vice president at Builders First Sauters, a Dallas-based supplier of structural building products. In an email, an Alliance data spokeswoman declined to comment on the sale. On October 18, the company reported a record third quarter. Alliance data said better credit throughout its private label credit card brands helped raise revenue growth percentages into the double digits. Shares skyrocketed in response. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Reaching an all-time high of $145.68 on October 19. The week later, Alliance data shares still traded near the high closing Friday at $142.64. Analysts responded to the earnings news bullishly. RBC analyst Daniel Arperlin, who rates Alliance data at Outperform, raised the price target to $162 from $145. Piper Jeffrey analyst Michael J. Grondahl, who rates the company at Neutral, lifted the price target to $146 from $136. We believe the Alliance data narrative is transitioning from a focus around falling net charge-offs and lower funding. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Costs, toward the portfolio growth story, wrote Grandal in an October 18th research report. On the call, management noted it expects portfolio growth in the mid-20 range in the fourth quarter of 2012. We believe this can continue into 2013.